Well, good evening. Uh, we're back for some more of the sort of bunkers modding. Um, this week we're going to continue on from where we left off last Friday night um, with fixing up the problem we had with the drone not spawning. We fly in now, we should get the chat warning, and we should spawn a drone. Or I've completely broken everything when I uh, cleaned up the files. <laughs> oh, we're off to a great start. Yeah, I guess it's uh, time for debugging. YouTube for the win with the notifications. Um, okay, let's jump back in here and see what the heck I broke. So, um, since you didn't see this, I cleaned this up a bit <laughs> during the week and um, made some uh, made some modifications so that um, we have a file um, for each one of the sections of the actual behaviors to. Uh, make things a little bit easier to um, organize and understand what's going on because uh, this spawn profile section is this is what we missed last week with getting the spawn, drone to spawn so we've got the spawn group here for control of the drone in the spawn profile instead of here in the actions profile because this should have been pointing to like it is now to the spawn profile of type ID. That was what we stuffed up, or well, I stuffed up last week. So, but now not be working. So let's figure out what the heck's going on. So they spawned in. Maybe. So. as a trigger that maybe I did adjust some of these names during the week just so um maybe I typoed one of them so let's go hey look oh look, there you go there it is right there <laughs> look at that <laughs> there was an extra a in there so Trigger profile triggering, which means then, of course, the action wasn't triggering. Then, of course, wasn't triggering the chat or the spawner. Oh, I changed the um chat profile uh, the chat to um uh more responsive today hopefully um so it comes up quicker but uh, hopefully it doesn't affect the uh frame the dropout sadly <laughs> uh it's coding in general um Eisen like it's always whenever something's broken it's always like a full stop or a comma or something in the wrong spot and like the more complex the program the harder it is to find
अच्छा अच्छा in the space engineers and reload game Curious. It shouldn't, in theory, from my previous testing, it do it, but yeah. So, yeah, we fixed the behaviors, but the like, it's still not um, actually triggering because it's um, the one that I spawned in before I fixed it. Let's remove that. Teleport back over here. Go and grab my spawn command. There's our command, and there's our Busby! Yay! It's working! <laughs> oh, and there's another Busby. Okay, I'm interested to see how these spawns handle, because I rebuilt these the Busby during the week as well. Has, was not handling uh, too well. Looks like it's behaving much better now. So we've got three, which is our maximum number. Oh, look at that. They're working. I'm so happy. Okay, I, I might need to give them a little bit more forward thrust because you can see that one is just like um, I made it angle down and look up at me and it's just like not, uh, it's not at all happy. <laughs> doing relatively okay. I think it should be alright actually. Alright, cool. Well that uh, seems to be working. Um well now you guys are here I got a treat for you. Exit back out of here. I built a new drone during the week and it needs a name. You guys are probably familiar with the Sparrow um, from Set of Installations. So the new drone is a mini version of the Sparrow, and I think it came out it came out pretty well. Oh, finally loads up. Believe it or not, this is actually loading up an, S an SSD. Yeah, 
Okay. Here is our new little drone. I was thinking of calling it the hummingbird, but uh, if you guys have got some uh, some other names, I'd, be, I'd love to hear them. We got the easy version, medium version, and then the hard version. And uh, if you're wondering, the uh, the remote control block is deliberately exposed on the top there to entice a certain person uh, whose name might start with C to come and grind it and hopefully explode the whole drone in his face. Okay, All right, let's jump back to... Uh, To the mod files and get get cracking on some more triggers now we've got the basics down of a uh, a behavior profile attached to the base which has a trigger which then has an action which then action which then triggers the action then runs a chat or a spawn profile um, we can uh, start building on that. So we want a so say we have the antennas on the bases set to to two kilometers. We want a warning warning one at say. 1.8 kilometers in um, That's gonna be a like a hey, someone's nearby HQ um, Please advise and then At we want a second warning at say um, Nine hundred meters To, uh, to say they're under attack. Finch. Oh yeah, Finch. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. Really quite like Finch. Oh, I'll see what else you guys can come up do with during the stream. I'll pick one. I'll pick one at the end. Um. Okay. So we've already got our first trigger. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the trigger profile and we're going to move this out to 1800. Because I want that to be the, the, the long distance one because of what we already have set up in the, the chat message. Gull, yeah, it's, um, Gull kind of makes me think of, like, Seagull and, like, a much bigger bird. The, um... Just for, uh... Just for comparison's sake... That's the new one. That's one of the ones that's already in the mod. It's called the pigeon. So, if that's a pigeon, a gull's got to be like massive. <laughs> okay. 
Back to these triggers. All right. Um, we got our long range one, so now we need to set up a new trigger. Back in our triggers, still under our same. Our easy triggers that I've, this easy trigger section I've defined. I'm going to copy this and paste that in there, and we're going to call it AB Easy Atmo Easy Atmo Easy Player Prox Trigger. And we're going to set this one to 900, and then we change this to Player Prox Action Two. Take this new trigger name, go back to our behavior for the base, and we add it in here as another option, another trigger base can base behavior can so that. So we've done our behavior profile has got the new trigger name. We've We've defined our new trigger and we've put our action name in here. So now we need to go into our action profile and copy this and create our new action. It's gonna be action action two. Now for action one. I'm actually going to remove the spawner because I don't want that one to spawn anything. This one. That. That too. Save that one. So that's now got our new action, our new action, the proximity to be called. We're going to call our uh, a new chat and use the spawner we'd already already built. We now need to go into chat and create that chat behavior. That new action. Two is created. Oh, okay. Yeah, seagull like gulls in Australia are your typical kind of seagull. They're quite large. <laughs> Not as large as kind of like the um more like albatross kind of like seagull looking seagulls that they have in like um. The US, but still pretty big. Uh, um, we went. Oh, uh, we, we need a new chat. So, take this out. And I need to see if I can find on earth I have done PDF add. Bear with me while I find the PDF file. Uh, 
Where on earth did I put it? Go back to... Huzzah, found it. Okay. Still in my downloads folder. Okay, so we need a command we need a message for under attack. They were just calling for some. Oh, actually, given it's the base, we could actually go calling for support and defense grid activated. Because that, if you're at 900, you're only going to get another 100 meters before the turrets are shooting you. So let's combine those two. Calling for support. Defense grid activate. And then that's Okay, let's save that and test.
Okay, wait. Uh. Pull that. That. Back here. Yeah, spawn command. Ah, actually, you know what? That first one's that first command's not actually gonna work at two Ks. So you wait in a week. Way. Okay, so there's one point. Only plus is put, defense crew activated. And there's our Busby. Now, see that that first one didn't at work because the base's antenna is not set to two kilometers. So let's just put all this again. So let's try some. Now. If we take a look at our mod guide, our target trigger, tell you inside antenna, take specifies if the target must be within the range of, of an antenna. Okay, so let's try let's try this. Now, last time I messed with this, it didn't actually work the way you would think it would. Maybe mentioned something in the stream chat last week about. Um, about it, and I, so I think they may have actually Lucas might have changed the behavior of it. So in our trigger profile for this one, put that in there, and that to false. Save. Back in the space engineers. Okay. 
faces you a different direction. Back. All right, so let's go. Let's play it. Ah, see, I'm still not getting. I'm still not getting that first warning. Even though I'm within the two kilometers. Okay. So what we need to do is exit out of here. Go back into the base build one. Take a while. Go in and edit the range on that antenna to two kilometers. And then we'll prefab, create prefab um, for the base. And then test again, it should work. <laughs> yeah, considering everything everything else in Australia seems to want to kill you, yeah. Evening. Okay, so let's set this to I'm gonna set it to two thousand and one just to be safe. Oh, we're in here. Let's have. Oh. I think we need to do this base. Make it ready for rival AI. Is yeah. what bar I that one? I remember control walk. Jeez. All right. This was the old script that uh, used to do all the uh, war mode stuff. Um, yeah, that is the to go now. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. That's the 
Alt. Stop. Hey there. The antenna. Okay, and as you can see here, some of the shenanigans I had to do in the old mod to make things work properly with all the threat, the threat um, levels. Have the new gaming convention. PC. close this door otherwise the base won't be airtight and the voxel cutting will not function that. F11. Okay, um, alright, that's that one exported, so we now need to back over and grab this one also. Oh, actually. Um, something very important to note when exporting these prefabs. Um, whichever block you, uh, you take these from, is uh um affects uh this position number when you're trying to reset them into the ground so you need to remember which block you previously exported them you hit the control c on when exporting them to create the blueprint in the clipboard before exporting it because if you pick a different block, then the new prefabs are different height. 
and uh, your uh, preset, your value you've already set for how input into the terrain it is, is then completely wrong, and um, everything's a bad day. So if we jump back into space, into I'm pretty sure from memory. I was using this block right here for this base. So I'm going to copy that. Escape F11 export file. Now, this one, I believe, I think I did it wrong. I did it wrong just before. I was using this block just here. Uh, yeah, so it's the height that you when you the height that you set for it to be embedded into the terrain with that that Y value in the in the script file. So if at so at the moment it's on this other base, right? It's set to negative nine, and it's perfectly in the in the ground. It looks really nice. If I was to pick, if I was to have this block highlighted when I press Control C, it would end up being in the terrain there where you couldn't into the into the base because it's going to take this block and go negative nine down push it down nine instead of taking this block and pushing it down nine whereas if i was to then take it from this block it would be sticking out of the terrain on the big on the on the on the lattice um tunnel um so Go to this one. Yeah, so if you if you take it from a higher block, it'll sink. If you take it from a lower block, it'll raise it. So I'm just going to do this one again because I'm pretty sure I took that from the wrong block before. Quickly grab those files off screen. Yeah, it's not such an issue with like cargo ships and stuff that you're spawning in the air. Um, it is a big issue with um with uh, the bait, the ground bases, but and. With the sort of insulations one, yeah, it'd probably be a little bit less noticeable because um you're not trying to sink them into the terrain so much. But like if with the bunkers, because so much of the base is underground, yeah, if you you pick it from the bottom one of the blocks at the bottom of the base where the bit that's under, under meant to be underground, and the previous one was from one of the blocks at the top of the base, it's, it's so so far off. It's it's ridiculous. Um, okay, so I need to go into my exports folder. Place the file. Okay, so you can now see we've got our research lab and the ecom space that was already there is still there, but that's now the updated file. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, Alright. Let's jump back into 
base engineers now that I've exported those new files and go back into the basing base test world um, and see if we got it right. You'll quickly know if I picked the wrong block because it'll be either massively under the terrain that you can't see it or it'll be massively sticking out of the terrain. Uh, but game. Bunkers in. It's not so much of an issue with remembering also the exact block, as long as the block is at the same level on the grid as the block you used last time. Okay, so don't have anything on in at the moment. Not near anything that's going to give me a threat. So let's back over here. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Bombs. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go back to it. down here. Right. Ah, <laughs> you can see back here all the voxel deformations. Oh, they just they just loaded from all the bases that are spawned because there's all the holes are there still. Why did that not come up at 2 That antenna range should be going 2k. Oh look, there you go. I picked the wrong block. See? See what I mean? It's out of the terrain. But I must have picked one of these other ones that was slightly higher up. Alright, I'm just gonna wait. Get in here for a second. And it's still 1.2. Why? I've just set it off rain. Don't tell me I typed it in and then like didn't hit the OK button. Really frustrating and annoying. Worst part is I have to load back into the almost 200 meg <laughs> world save now to uh, okay, double check it.
uh, I also um, chucked the uh, the link to the um, the MES slash Rival AI uh, models guide into the uh, description on the video for you guys this week too. So if you are looking for that link, it's in the description. So if you happen to try and find it in the chat from last week's video. Probably, Aizen. You're probably right. Typical male, you know, can't multitask. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely set to two. Nailed it, Zero Not. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, that's set it too. I don't, okay, that's just a bit. Maybe. Maybe um, I uh, deleted the wrong. Um, I pulled across the wrong prefab export file, so. Um, but the height was wrong anyway, so um, let's. Uh, let's. Do it again anyway. Now, I'm, I am going to take it from the same block again, and I'm going to fix, I'll just adjust the value. Because typically what I have been doing is I take it from a block that's on this lowest level of the above ground section. Is kind of like my rule of thumb of where I take it from. F11, what clipboard? I need to grab that file again. Oh, that's a that's that's a that's a real bad one. That one. Uh, ones. Uh, rid of this B five file it makes just in case that's causing problems. Before we go back in, another one, make this 11. Save that. Game.
that. Didn't fall in anything. Oh, it just... And now I've got two. <laughs> GG Space Engineers. <laughs> okay, so it's four Ks from the base from the base. So let's fly back until we see two Ks on the other antennas. Uh, but you know it's back over there. All right, so port. one point eight from the other base. There's two. You'd see the other base. Yep, aha, uh -huh. there it is, 1.93. So now, the trigger is set at 1,900. Okay. So. Well, I'm not out of power, I'm over one. we get wrong all right 1800 <laughs> not close enough yet there it is I'll still spot it high KHQ eyes okay cool now that shouldn't spawn anything like it hasn't now, if I get to 900, we should get the second one and the drone should start spawning. Yep. There's my drone. Now, let's see, how do we go with the height? There we go, see it? Yep. That's more like it. Might need to go down a little tiny bit more, but that's pretty close. Those drones are doing a good job of taking its own base out, eh? Hello, Busby. That one was a little eager to say hello. Uh, nah, it's the drone. The, the, what's shooting up the base is actually the drones shooting at me. And because I'm standing between the base and the drone. Yeah. See, those ones up there are shooting down at me and they're getting the, they're getting the solar panel. So, that's, uh... That's just, um, inaccurate fire missing me and hitting other stuff instead. F10, and let's clean up the mess that that just made. Okay. That is that one. So, jump back into here. Now, that's Three drones spawning is pretty overkill. Um, probably need to calm that down a little bit. <laughs> so let's jump back in here. Make this one. And I'm pretty sure this is milliseconds. So...
นะฮะ And to be honest, like I don't, I don't kind of, you don't kind of want the drones really to um not shoot you if you're inside the base. Um, was it just kind of makes it too easy to hide from them? Yeah. But then it also de deprives you of the resources as well by trying to hide inside the base and the drone shooting up the base and to get to you anyway. So um, in essence, even though they did take out their own base, um, they still kind of achieved the goal of denying you of what you were there, to, there for anyway. But that's also why I just changed the max drone down to one because three was way overkill <laughs> and set the uh set these um in these cooldowns to be a little bit more um sensible. No, it's, that's a cooldown. Because both min cool. Does the mod guide say about that? That seems odd, considering that was in the sample code. Uh, yes and no. So, most of the bases are actually equipped with warheads, um, but they are more or less set up um, to prevent you bypassing the story or um, or the way in which the base is intended to be re in, uh, interacted with. Um, so, for example, on the um, the comms, the uh, research lab, um, which uh, killed Kapak in the airlock trap on um, on the survival is that the impossible one? Survival unlikely. I can't remember which the the co-op one on Switch's channel. Um, The, uh, that airlock is set up with the sensor, and the same sensor that triggers the trap in that airlock also disarms all the warheads. But if you enter that base any other way other than through that airlock, the base is just gone in like a matter of like five seconds <laughs> after you enter the base from some other direction other than that airlock. <laughs> But if you react quickly, the trap won't get you. The reason why it got cat back and split uh, got cat back in the in the episode was because the trap triggered, and then they stood around admiring the uh, admiring the airlock for way too long. <laughs> Yeah, 
which um made me extremely happy <laughs> and I laughed my head off. Okay, let's have a look at what this why we have two min cooldowns here in the default code. No, Splitty had absolutely no knowledge of that base. He had never, never before entered that base. He had not seen the base. Um, all the all the bases bar one of the sort of bunkers mod have all like the underground parts have all been built by me. Um, and Splitty knows absolutely no idea what's down there, or what traps are set up, or what's behind doors. He is completely blind. Okay, where are we? Um, get into spawn portal. Oh, of course, you always said Capac first. Spawn min cooldown. Uh, spawn min cooldown. Spe specify the maximum, the minimum time in seconds after a spawn event. Profile needs to. That's odd because it doesn't say you can find. There's multiple tags allowed. No. So. Sample code have two mins. That must be a typo. I might message Lucas about that one, because that, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be spawn max cooldown there. Especially since the documentation on the tag down here, there's multiple tags allowed, no. <laughs> so let's change this from min to max, because that's what it's supposed to be. So. Must be hard. What's the next one time in seconds? Oh, in seconds. Okay. Not not milliseconds. And this is why it's important to read the help file, because some of these are in milliseconds and some of them are in seconds. So this actually just so the 30 and the 60 was actually fine. Yeah, I I was I was kind of hoping that he might actually fall for it again, or they might just walk like grind, forget, and grind the door down and go straight through because then the welders would have turned on and got them on the way back out. Fun fact is the sensor only covers the, the actual airlock, so I'm I'm kinda waiting for um Capac the next time he decides not to waste the um ammo shooting the welders and actually grinds through the wall and drills around the side of the airlock and then he'll get into the actual base proper and then the whole base will explode. Which will be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Okay, um, let's save that. So we've got one drone spawning. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I can't really do the RC being disabled because where I've placed them, 
Um, they're very hidden. <laughs> And the explosion, the explosion from the rival AI centers off of the, off of the remote control block, I believe. Um, I, would, I haven't looked into it yet, but I believe that's how it works. Um, and the remote control block is not central of the base. Okay, uh, that's that done. Yeah, cool. I thought so. In my, I'm not sure. There might be some offset tags that you can put in. Um, but I haven't looked into that yet. Okay. So we've got our first base. So let's... Let's go back into our spawn profile, our spawn groups, and configure up our... Um, our research lab since we exported that one. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got another base that I've designed the top half of, and I've got some fun stuff planned for inside that one. Um, but I'm not going to go into it because I want to keep that keep that one a secret. I don't want to spoil everything in the mod. So. Okay, so we need to basically, we're going to add in this research lab now. So we're going to grab our entire group here that we had for the other base. Do that. And paste it in. Relabel this one as search lab. This this gold stays the same. Change. Okay. Um. Yeah. Because this is still an easy level base, we don't actually need to rebuild new behaviors for this new base because it can use the same uh, defined base behavior that we've already set up for an easy level base. So by having this tag here, we're just going to reuse all of this, all of this that we've already built for this new base. So let's save that. Cool. Oh, so there isn't there is an offset. Cool. That's nice. That's good to know. I might look into using that then for some stuff. Um, not necessarily, because with, um, the way I've got the bases in the sort of bunkers, um, I built a base and then as the threat score goes up, the armaments that you will find on the outside of the base get progressively harder. So, um, an easy base will only have a couple, one, like two maybe three max inter uh, interior turrets on the outside of the base. Um, once you get to medium, um, you, you get probably about five interior turrets, may maybe a full-blown um, Gatlin turret. Um, I did have a medium, a medium hard. So you can see I've got down here, I had a medium easy, medium hard, hard. They had four different levels. So these had 
more exterior turrets, and maybe maybe a uh, a Gatlin turret. These definitely had a Garen, G uh, Gatlin turret, and um, some potentially two Gatlin turrets. And then the hard ones were Gatlin turrets and missile launchers, missile turrets, as well as Gatlin um, interior turrets still dotted around. Um, so they yeah they just got progressively more and more um like you know defensive um there was then also two different versions of bases um which only spawned under um medium hard and hard So that one's in, so let's go into Space Engineers and test to see if that one spawns. Reload the pond. The updates. Grab my horn. Come go to the There it is. Now, you can clearly see straight away because I used the height, the Y value from the previous base, <laughs> it doesn't work for this one. <laughs> but if we fly back over here, put ourselves in, we can see. We've active. We are. We are already within the one point eight. So we've already activated the uh, activated the other one. First proximity one, and there's the second one. And here comes our single drone. Now it should wait a maximum, a minimum of thirty seconds and a maximum of sixty seconds before it'll spawn another one of those. Yeah, that's a bit more, a bit more um, realist, a uh, hand uh, like okay to deal with as like something that spawns when you come in to attack the base. Like the three that were spawning before are just like way too much. Like that's kind of like that'd be like a hard level. Like that's kind of setting I might have on like a hard level, uh, a base. But then, if all again, then again, also if it's a hard level base, I probably wouldn't be spawning the Busbies. I'd probably be spawning some of the other larger drones that are part of the mod. Okay. 
because um some of the other uh larger drones from the mod also have forward facing um weaponry which will now function because of a set of ai okay let's go back to the mod <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> that was why I broke um I broke mine up into these um the the all the different sections so it was um they wouldn't get um too much in the one file. Um because otherwise it's just getting it too difficult to follow and wait read. Okie That's got our two triggers. But I probably do need like what I've done over here. I'm wondering whether I um I uh got these out here and like Or not. I'll leave it off for now. I might come back to adding those kind of commented section, commented comments to, on them later. Um, what I do want to do now is try and put in some more um, chat stuff because at the moment we've only got the base um, chatting to um, HQ. So what we want to try and do now is pull in some of these command replies um, in, into the chat now, with a delay, a bit of a delay, so it, it, like, it's like it has that, um, you know, they sent a message, it took a second or two to kind of process and then, then they've replied. You don't want to just go Boom, boom, like, like instant, like, and have both messages appear instantaneously because that'll won't it'll be silly and it won't look natural. So we've got this chat. Awesome. Back in our yeah, exactly. Humans can <laughs> can't read that fast. Go back into our mod guide. Like this, have a look at chat. So that message. I'm wondering whether we are uh, if if is it do we have an extra chat here under this this chat pro um, behavior or do we need to add a second a second chat data all here in the action 
which is then set up com as a completely separate chat one. Checking the checking how the the tags and stuff are allowed to be used, so we can figure out which way we have to do it. Uh, Multiple instances provided they will play order randomly if all crash. Ah, okay, cool. So, if we want to have multiple options, multiple options of what it can say here, we can have multiple ones in here with this broadcast random we says. So, that means we need to have a secondary uh, chat data call here and another and another profile. So. Let's yes. Yes. So we don't want it to pick we want it to we want it to pick we want it to be able to pick which one it can choose for the base's message to HQ, but then we want it to also have a list it can pick from for the replies. Which means we have to have two separate ones of of these for the two me the outbound message and the reply mess and then one for the reply message. So chat data a bit easier. Uh, uh, prox chat. And I call this re that one reply. Go in here. True start ready. I think that start ready now needs to maybe be false and then we have a timer on it. Let's have a look. Let's read the status as well as that timer ready. On time and set for the next. Oh. Specifies if the intent of that notification should be ignored. Ah, okay. I think so. Where we extended the antenna earlier to two kilometers, I think if we put that in the chat in the chat thing, we wouldn't need to. We might have a play with that in a minute. All right, we'll come back to that.
We just this one. Set that to like five seconds. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have a. Well, see, the basins still have an antenna. Um. But you just wouldn't be able to see it on on the on the on your HUD yet because you're not within its broadcast range. Whereas I think if you use that ignore the antenna requirement, it'll. Play the message whether you're inside the broadcast range of the antenna or not. Um, so five seconds, and then we need to put this pulse. And then... We just the images, keep an eye on them. So now we want to copy this. Paste it in and make. Chat to reply. So we're now replying to calling for support, defense grid activated. Drones deployed, tracking target. Now, in the spawn, we've got starts ready as well. So, Go back. Is the spawn one working off the min cooldown or is it working off a different one for if that's set to be false?
So I think we probably want to have this set to ten seconds. Then make this false. So that should mean that hopefully we get within 1.8 of the base, we'll see this message, and then five seconds later we'll see this message. Then if we get in within 900, we should see this message. Five seconds later we should see this message, and then five seconds after that we should get the drone spawn. I believe. But let's test it. All the files are saved. So let's jump back into Space Engineers. Reload the world to pick aided. Oh joy, space engineers just crashed. Thanks. Ah, oh, I should change the uh Okay, it really does not like me. Probably we didn't do something that grievously bad in the code that it the mod's making the game crash. And play play parts. I've never had the game actually crash on me before from working with the assert the MES stuff. But then I guess we got rival AI in the mix too now, so um I don't have the second at reply defined here, but then that shouldn't make any difference. Like if it's not defined, it, to use it, it should make it crash. In the spawn group file, hmm. We haven't changed anything in there since the last time we loaded in, but we've only touched, um, only files we've changed is the action profile and the chat profile and the spawn profile. Uh, hang on.
What are you doing there? <laughs> You're not meant to be there. Now, I think I just found it. There was a closed there was a closed entity component tag um there which shouldn't have been there. That's why indenting is really important because it makes it easier to follow because like here's the open, here's the close, open and close. So if you've got a close that doesn't have an open for it, you know, makes it easier to find. Okay, that's all saved. Let's try that again. That buzz be did oh. Okay. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Five seconds was still way too short. Okay, they're coming up exactly the same time. Either I've done that wrong or it or that's milliseconds and seconds. Okay, back to the code. Definitely said seconds. Second.
So, reading back to your comment, final event, that they can be in the same one and use the chance value to pick which one triggers. So, is it what you're saying is that you can have multiple ones in here and then you set the chance for the first one to be like 100 and then you would use you would use the max time value to put the delay in before it can tr trigger the next message and then you have the the second one set with like say like 90 90 percent chance Let's have a look. And I don't know if you can put that chance. I don't know if that chance flag can be multiple. Yeah, no, you can't have multiples of the chance flag. So no multiple tag not allowed. So I can't set a chance for this message and then have and then say have another one here that has its own chance. Although it just Play both of them. Hmm. It specifies the chance. I don't know if you can always ever that will broadcast when that profile is triggered. Than this play in or in order each time the action triggered or Okay, so Okay, let's try this then. So if we take this comment out that entire section then copy the make this two as it needs to be able to do because while we're inside the range it's going to keep trying to trigger this but if if we've got one, it's only going to send one message, but if we set that the two, it should be able to send both. And if we change the broadcast randomly to false, oh, uh, but no, 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 no. That would work. But the thing is, we want this other message to come from someone else because this needs to come from a cert 
HQ. Let's just pad out these timers a bit. Why is this? Not a cue. On command. Well, that doesn't seem to be working. See you guys, and thanks for coming. We'll be doing it again at the same time next week.
I'm really not expecting this to make any difference, but... Why is the weather on? I turned the weather off. Okay. Grab the spawn command. That was 30 seconds, and I'm within the trigger range. That was it. Five minutes. Still spent five minutes. Ten.
Hi Max. Um, we've uh, added an extra base. We've fixed up our spawn groups, our spawn profiles. Um, we've got some drones spawning now. We're working on uh, the uh, chat interaction now and trying to get our reply messages going, but um, they're uh, they're going in the chat, but they're not doing a delay like we want them to. And I'm a bit of a wall. In time to any effect either. That timer should be ready broadcast that post. Maximum time seconds. Oh, let's leave that bit alone for now. I'll come back to that. We might figure that one out, and we'll um, I'll uh, go over that, go over it, and fix it in next stream. But for now, let's go and fix up our height on this base. So eleven was way off. So. It, the start ready is false. So on the first one it's true, because that one needs to play straight away. Then the second one is that's ready false. Which means it should be then waiting twenty seconds before it plays the message based on that time on that min time there. But it doesn't seem to be doing it. Anyway. Eleven, let's go to twenty.
that was close, not quite. Let's go to Yeah, it's that time. That's good. A little bit higher. That's what I was talking about saying the other night with doing these uh, Y heights on the on the bases. Uh, it's uh, really fiddly. Go to
Load again. Warn the base in again and see if it's the right height now. That not spawning when I run that command is a prime example of sometimes why you can have your base somewhere and actually never get any of the bases to spawn. Because if it, if the spot where MES decided to spawn this thing was like, yeah, <laughs> it does a check of the terrain around and goes, no, nope, it's not a big enough area, and then doesn't spawn anything. If you're in a really hilly area, it doesn't have any like areas that are big enough to spawn the bases in. Um, it'll just keep trying to spawn them and keep failing the check, and then never spawn anything. Probably still needs a little bit more. Well, we're in a bit of a I wanted it on a really weird angle. Um, actually teleport here. Actually, level to the gravity, it just looks really weird when you're back here. Yes, terrain is mean. It really doesn't look like it. Wait, did I actually hit save on the file? Ah, <laughs> lols. I didn't hit save because that's still red. Watch it, I will have not saved like twice now probably, and I bet you it's now like gonna be like half under the ground. Yes! Look at that! It's perfect! This one, out of all the bases, I think this one is probably the worst one to get, like, aligned nice. It could probably go down maybe another half, but that is pretty darn close.
uh, remove it and pull another one. Literally, look, just spawn that one like next to right next to where the other one was. You know what? Well, I think that's actually fine. I think I'm invulnerable because I didn't have my jetpack turned on when I teleported myself like half a K up in the air then. Okay. Let's cut that one with the right height. On it. I think on that note, yeah, the drone, the drone crashed. Yes, it, it tried to ram me. I need to do that. They're not as bad as they were on with the original version of the Busby, but they're still um, they're still not um, performing exactly as I would like. So I'll have a look into that during the week. Um, but I think that's where we're going to call it for this evening. Um, I will be back on Friday um, at 7 o'clock next week to continue on with the building of the mod as we uh, learn how to do this stuff together as we go. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, and uh, if you're uh, on Splitsy's uh, Zebra Monkeys Discord, I and hang out on there a fair bit so um feel free to um message on there if you uh, have any questions and stuff or want to, want to chat um and i'll uh see you all next week if you're uh, around to come yes